Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What happens if the non-custodial parent lives outside of Florida? When a non-custodial parent resides outside of Florida, several key considerations come into play, particularly regarding child custody and support. Jurisdiction and custody determination. Florida courts can exercise jurisdiction over child custody cases if Florida is the null home state null of the child. This means the child must have lived in Florida with a parent for at least six months preceding the commencement of the custody proceedings. If the non-custodial parent lives outside of Florida, but the child has been a resident of Florida, the Florida court can still make an initial custody determination. Continuing jurisdiction. Once a Florida court makes an initial child custody order, Florida courts retain exclusive continuing jurisdiction over the case. This means that even if the non-custodial parent moves out of state, changes to the custody order typically must be made through the Florida court. Parenting time plans. Regardless of where the non-custodial parent lives, parenting time plans must be adhered to. These plans, which can be included in child support orders, outline the time each parent spends with the child. Changes to these plans require court approval, and the court will consider the child's best interests when making any modifications. The location of the non-custodial parent does not exempt them from child support obligations. The Child Support Program in Florida will work to locate the parent and ensure compliance with support orders. If the parent is found, they will be required to pay support as ordered by the court. In cases where the non-custodial parent lives outside of Florida, legal proceedings can become more complex. The Uniform Child Custody Jurisdiction and Enforcement Act, UCCJEA, helps standardize the process across states, ensuring that courts in different states can work together to make decisions in the child's best interest. Cooperation and communication. Effective cooperation and communication between parents are crucial, even if they live in different states. Both parents must follow the court-approved parenting plan and use proper procedures to seek modifications. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.